Guys, I am thawing out this chicken for literally two weeks. It was $7.82 and it was $1.98 per pound. The weight was $3.95. Um, and I'll be reviewing Sanderson Farms because I try to buy cheaply and I want you guys to have the best, you know, bang for your buck when you buy cheap food. To clarify, uh, it's two weeks worth of food, not letting it fall for two weeks on the counter. Dude, if I did that, that would be really gross. Imagine what it would look like. The channel y'all can check out is Google Foods. At this current second, he is making a vegan steak, but he makes a lot more than just vegan food. Also, I am vacuuming the floor while I wait for the chicken to thaw. If you like this vacuum and you want this vacuum, there will be a link to the UP store, UP, I can't pronounce it, third floor in the description below. All right guys, my phone is about to die and it's literally on 8%. But what I do is I cut the chicken into strips, some of it, and I will also cut my chicken breast in half so that I can make sandwiches and things with it and I make it last a lot longer like that. I will do that for the rest of these and then I will come back. All right guys, I'm able to make those chicken breasts stretch out to be this much food. And even then, I could probably cut some of these in half and still make it stretch even more. The machine I'm using is quite dirty because I use it all the time, but it is the Ninja. One of the perks to having the Ninja is the temp IQ, and that is exactly what I'm about to use now. You click that button, you stab your meat, and it'll tell you the temperature of your meat, and for poultry it needs to be closer to 170. And it's not going to get there yet, but I just wanted to show you because it is a really awesome feature to have. If you do want an in-depth review on this machine and all its ins and outs, uh, comment below and I'll definitely make a review for it because I got this on Amazon and it is my most prized machine. As you can tell, it's 76 in this room because it is close to over here and I've got to re-clean this whole kitchen. Alright guys, I looked at Tony Pizza, but it is not as rare as it looks. That's just a tendon. You know, like you get with your chicken legs. So there's some of that stuff I'm eating here, like a uh, red meat and things like that. But it is really juicy. You can kind of see just about everywhere I put it is it's juicy, but it's also it's got almost like its own salty flavor. So you don't need any salt. The only thing I cooked it in was just a little bit of butter, literally a blob of butter, as people call it, or like a little scoop, and then you toss it in. But I used the plant-based butter from Country Prep which is basically margarine. I do that also so that the meat doesn't get dry. I forgot to mention in this video that now that it's getting closer to Valentine's Day, I'm gonna be trying to create products on my website for Valentine's. And also I would give Sanderson Farms about a four star review.